hang our banners on the outward walls. The cry is still, they come, our castle's strength. We'll laugh a siege to scorn. Here let them lie till famine and the Aggie eat them up. <clears throat> Were they not forced with those that should be ours? We might have met them dareful, beard to beard, and beat them backward home. What is that noise? It is the cry of women, my good Lord. I have almost forgot the taste of fears. The time has been my senses would have cooled to hear a night shriek, and my fell of hair would at a dismal treatise rouse and stir as life were in it. I have sput forth with horrors, direness, familiar to my slaughterous, slaughterous thoughts, cannot once start me. Wherefore was that cry? The queen, my lord, is dead. She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this, prit, in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools. The way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player. That struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player, that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury. Your authorized version of the scriptures and turn in the authorized version of the scriptures the King James scriptures the true and real scriptures Amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 verses 1 on the verse 8 Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Doctrinally, dispensationally, this is not written unto us. This is under the dispensation of the law. Okay? Our instruction in righteousness, brethren. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Oh, we believe, we believe. Did you come to your belief by repentance? Oh, from going from unbelief to belief? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the repentance of turning from yourself, your self righteousness, your pride. Have you been broken? Hmm. Will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he hath taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? 
Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken, who can but prophesy? And for today, in this dispensation, the time of the Gentiles, you who are saved of the church of the living God, our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, dwells within you, and the Lord is that spirit. Um, and through the scriptures, the Lord can use you as his vessel to speak his word unto others. Hence, an aspect of prophesying. Because remember, prophesying is definitely about foretelling future events. But for us today, speaking the word of truth through the Holy Ghost and the Lord is that spirit. All glory and praise goes on to the Lord. Verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets, his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12, verses 1 on to verse 5. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trode one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered... That shall not be revealed, neither hid, neither hid, that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. And those who are not of the church of the living God, calling themselves Christians, who went out from us, but were never of us, they don't fear God. They don't fear God. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Else why would they behave the way they are behaving? You know? You know? One second, brethren. 1 John chapter 2. Verses 20. On to verse 21. But ye... Have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. And no lie is of the truth. The people who you thought were your friends, who are of us, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest. They were not all of us. We knew. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. We knew this. Because it has been revealed unto us through the scriptures. And the Spirit of Truth, who will guide you into all truth, and the Lord is that Spirit, will show you these things and has revealed them unto many of us. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 on to verse 18. 
Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Christ with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. I received two emails uh, within the past two days um, from someone <laughs> trying to push on to me to buy subscribers. I seem to remember a devil out there making a big, <laughs> foolish nonsensical ac accusation against several of the brethren of them buying subscribers uh, you know it's 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 very obvious man it's very obvious that came from you yeah 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 Brethren, again, these people will be made manifest. Okay? They will be made manifest. They will expose themselves. We as the Church of the Living God, yes, there is a time and definitely a place to expose those who are false by name. Absolutely. 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 But you also got to remember the little dogs that bark, they want the publicity. They want you to name them. Because remember, the end justifies the means. So any publicity is good publicity. And it's so obvious that, you know, a little boy is being led like a marionette and being uh, and being told what to do by a very choice individual it's it's so obvious man it's so obvious you think you're well hidden in plain sight when there are actually two brethren who are far better than you at the computer who have found your many tentacles that you are using Yeah, yeah, you think you're pretty smart and hidden and you come on, come on, come on. It's very obvious. These people, brethren, will expose themselves because they can't keep up with the lie forever. We don't really have the time to waste. I know that. Again, this is work, uh, going off of the video that I uploaded this morning. I, I, I get that. I understand that. We don't have the time. But um, to cut it all, to cut off everything, what if the Lord truly does send someone of his body to you? who is actually seeking and comes to you for help because of the scar and jaded nature of what's going on right now. Are you going to close off all? Well, we don't know. And you're right. You don't. You don't. And the time is so dangerous right now that we can't afford to put that hand out, can we? But 
But what if someone who is truly of the Church of the Living God comes to you? But then again, a majority of them that will come to you are not of the Church of the Living God, are they? No. Surely he has set them in slippery places, brethren. Their time is coming. Their time is coming. So that's going to be it for this little, another impromptu video. And you know who you are. I'm not going to name you and give you what you want. I know that was you. I still see you, you know. And so do others. You're not as well hidden as you thought you were. Do as you will, devil. All of you. Go ahead. You heretics that are up in Canada. The heretic in Australia. I'm not talking about my brother. Do as you will. Because see, we of the Church of the Living God know what you are. There again, the people that you are leading astray, leading straight to hell, they want you. So, live it up. Live it up. Remember, this is your hour in the power of darkness. And to every single one of you, Every single one of you, you heretics, you know who you are. Um, you're going to get what's coming to you. And the old saying is misery loves company, right? You're just kind of, uh, trying to, as the Titanic, take down as many people as you can with you. Have fun storming the castle. Anyway, brethren, that's going to be it for this little video. I love you. Pray for one another. Be ready. Be ready, brethren. Be ready. Are you?